Guys, welcome to another commentary done by DD. This is again between Strike and Kaido Game 2, part of the Neo Dark Origin bracket standing, but Game 1 went to Kaido with a very quick, I want to say build order win. I think I was just thrown off altogether because I didn't catch, I think my brain, I actually was explaining this to chat half a second ago, was I, my brain wanted to say it was like a 12 hatch, but it wasn't. It was a, I think it was a 12 pool. And Kaido having, just getting the Zergling Flood and punishing Striker's uh, expansion grab. In the meantime, we'll see. I'll do better this game as my dedication. ZVZ is just one of those matchups as well. I think I've seen Striker have very, very strong ZVZ. It's, I'm a little bit surprised that I think Striker actually is the best Mutalist Micro in the scene, period. I'm kind of surprised that he's not going for more of the aggressive Mutalisk openers. In this matchup, go, go the nine pool, drop the Sunken Colony in base, try to play it from there, uh, and went for more of the economic build to start. Kaido, again going for the nine pool. Sorry, before he went over pool, going for a nine pool solid right here. Striker might be going for an over pool, which we'll see if he, yeah, going for an over pool here, which will give him a slight economic lead. In theory, that puts him ahead. In theory, but we saw what happened game one. Spawning pool extractor dropped. Not insurmountable by large margins. This gas, it looks like it, potentially we might end up with a later gas from Striker as well. So gas dropping about, so 145. A lot later, actually. So Kaido, gonna be in a position where he's gonna have the superior tech. We'll see if he again goes straight to lair, or if he goes for Zergling speed. He's building a sl uh, the initial six Zerglings to start. Waiting for that 100 gas ping to see whether he in fact decides. And Striker going for the same build order. We'll see if it ends up being... So instead going lair first once again. Yeah, Striker going over pool into expand here, building four Zerglings to follow it up. Let's see if he's got something different this time to not get thwacked. Maybe it's also the distances and the, the scouting pattern. So layer first rather than speed first for Kaido. Moving the Zerglings out, the Overlord is going to see that incoming. But again, if Striker just plays defensively, he's going to end up way behind in Mutalist tech. And he still needs to defend this natural expansion. And a, this is again a superior amount of Zerglings making their way out. So it might be a repeat of game one overall, and I'm just getting a better look at it this time. Zergling speed upgrading on both ends. Kaido just, again, testing and keeping Striker in a defensive position while that lair gets completed. We have a single drone moving out. Is this going to be a... This might be an attempt to breach the main and drop an offensive sunk. Never mind that drone coming back. Every once you'll see that. Striker, again, trying to test that front, is looking for Zergling speed timing, potentially, and that should give him an idea that that Spire is coming out later. The the one advantage here is, is the Overlord's been in a much better position to see the Zerglings incoming. Spire dropping, Striker moving that Overlord in, is going to have vision of when that Spire's finishing. His lair significantly behind. He's got two hatcheries up, even on workers, right this second. Does he counter to try to force... Sometimes there's a timing here where if you just build enough Zerglings and you send them at the right moment as that Spire is finishing, there's never an opportunity to build Mutalisks, or that provides you that pocket window to go ahead and get your own Spire up. Zergling's moving all over the map for Striker just to scout things out. He did miss these two Zerglings that are hiding cleverly underneath that palm tree bottom right. And that might be a significant factor as far as a follow-up. Striker up four drones. So this is looking very similar to game one. Up four drones, Spire is planted, Kaido's Spire not that far from finishing, and Striker still hasn't, he's got, so Zergling Speed's finished both directions. He still hasn't pressed. And I don't see an Evolution Chamber dropped to try to make up the difference in Mutalist potentially. It looks like those Zerglings have been spotted. Bottom left, it was three instead of two. That shows you how well that uh, Palm Tree was doing. But Striker not opting to get aggressive here. He is, he does have the economic lead, however. Looking for these one of these drones. Okay, we do have the Evolution Chamber dropped this time. Kaido spots it. Two Mutalists already constructing. And this is going to be... So now the question, does Kaido go for that Overlord first and get the free supply kill? Or does he head straight for this Evolution Chamber? Now, if this 
Evolution Chamber is able to get... Oh man, Zergling sneaking into the main. Second Creep Colony being spotted right there. Also seeing the Spire. And a second Creep Colony as well. So now Striker actually might have the economic lead. And even though the Spire is coming out a little bit later, it might end up in a better situation overall. Some Zerglings flooding in, able to keep one Spore Colony from constructing. And Kaido, this could this is potentially the game for him. Delaying those Spore Colonies. Mutalisks making their way straight this direction. Striker trying to defend here in the main. Mutalisks engaging at the natural, not able to stop that Spore Colony from completing. And again, not able to stop the Spore Colonies from completing at the main. Zerglings moving in. Two Zergling kills right there. The drones have to defend that Spore to stay alive. Some Scourge being produced at the natural. Some Zerglings flooding out for Striker, looking for a counterattack. There's one Mutalisk to try to defend there at the main. The Scourge out. Look like they are going to be able to at least take out one Mutalisk right there. And the Mutalisk is going to be able to clean up Striker Zerglings in the main, but they have managed, managed to get a significant amount of drone kills, so Striker has double the economy. Is going to lose this Overlord. That might give an opportunity for Kaido to recover economically slightly. More Scourge making their way out to get some free hits, but this natural expansion up for Striker has a lot of worker advantage, so he can drop additional Spore Colonies, but he does need to get a move on and building his own air fleet, because if he does not, Kaido is going to remain with a superior air army over the long haul. Ooh, Kaido having trouble dealing with those Scourge, taking several hits, that's weakening at least three, and more Zerglings able to get into the main and get some additional drone kills, it looks like, or at least harass Kaido. He's still not able to get the critical gas he needs to get more Mutalisks up in the air. However, on the opposite side, Striker looks like just going for, oof. So initially grabbing the gas, canceling it instead, bringing that drone back, Again, still has that economic lead, but he needs to convert this into an air fleet or some sort of standing army. So if you look at the supplies right here and deduct the drones, you can see that Kaido has a much larger army to work with right this second. And this spore is very, very weak at the natural. Single mules trying to engage right here. Looks like that spore colony is going to fall. So that evolution chamber now at risk. The Zerglings trying to dash around to buy some time. Some of them evacuating the main. The additional mules trailing bottom right. Kaido engaging those and it looks like a drone now move i assume this is going to be an offensive drone this time moving up to the natural <clears throat> zerglings continue to push forward the drone not having an opportunity to get on creep the zerglings continue to press down striker has produced a few mutalists but looks like he cannot defend that natural expansion so despite having that drone lead not able to convert it into something sufficient to defend that natural expansion however a mutalisk open and free in Kaido's natural and he I don't see okay we got some scourge in a bit of time he's already lost an additional drone one drone trying to pull out the zergling does get the kill right there so natural expansion getting completely lost but Kaido losing the entirety of his economy in turn he's only got three drones remaining striker hold up he still has two spore colonies needs to defend them with the zerglings he's, he has has a good amount of mutalisks, and now it might be, that might be GG for Kaido. He's only got the three drones remaining. Still has some ground army. Maybe if he can... An interior base hatcher here from Striker to be able to utilize Larva and spend it. Three mutalisks versus six, but with two support, that hatchery looks like it's going to take some damage at the natural. A little bit exposed. Kaido drawing back. I don't want to call Kaido out. Oh, he's got this drone that isn't moving as well. Needs to make sure it's active. So basically, he's functioning at two, two drones right now. And trying to micro around. A, the Zergling's getting the run by distracting these Mutalisks, which is giving more time for Striker to get that air fleet up, get some additional units. Is working on the Overlords. At the natural, the Zerglings have been able to press through. Some Scourge moving up, some Zerglings moving up for Kaido as well. That should be it, honestly, as soon as Striker makes it into the main for the drones that are remaining. But does Striker have enough to defend the counter? So, some Zerglings flooding in, testing things out, additional Zerglings moving up. They're getting cleaned up by the Mutalisks, and that's five healthy Mutalisks versus six and a single Scourge with Spore underneath. I don't think Kaido has enough. Trying to micro his way against this, the drones are gone, and Kaido drops it. Close one! in game two, but Striker prevails. Hope you guys enjoyed it. That was about as exciting as EVZs you'll see. Thank you guys for listening.